Hello, I'm very happy to present uh, Cléo de Saint Cassette. I will say the title in French because it's a French movie, directed by my mother, Agnès Varda. And you will see this film is, um, is very interesting. It has been shot in 1961. So I was a very little girl, I was three years old, so I have no memories of the shooting, of course. But um, I've been traveling with my mother for 15 years when she was presenting her film, so I know a little bit how she liked to speak about this movie. So I know you're going to see a little interview of Agnes and Madonna later on, but I wanted to tell you and share with you that you know I presented this film at the Lincoln Center in New York in a retrospective in 2019, just before the lockdown. And it was um, a wonderful audience, very young people. Um, what is extraordinary in this film is how she told the story in the same time of uh, the fear of um, death and you know waiting for medical results, which was at that period cancer, but it could be another illness. You know, it's it's the time before you know the result and you're kind of fragile but in the same time she's giving us to look at something very interesting is how a woman is going to change her life so at first Cleo really lives uh, by the eyes of the other per person around her her lover the, the musician everybody you know she's a kind of a She's a singer and she's a well-known singer. And suddenly, she's going to decide to look at people and not to live through the eyes of the others. And this is very interesting because, you know, my mother was uh, 33 when she did this film in 61. And so my mother always told me, you know, you have to drive your car of your life. You have to be always driving, never be on the other seat, always be able to stop, always be able to decide of what's going, you know, what's going on. So for me, you know, looking at Cleo now with, you know, being 63, I really think she did a, a film very interesting even on feminism and how you can talk about a romantic, you know, story and you can have characters that are you know, very romantic, that soldier that doesn't want to go back to the, to the war of Algerian war, which is, I can understand, you know. But in the same time, she's saying very smart and necessary um, things about feminism and about education, about women, you know. So finally, this film looks like a kind of a nouvelle vague French film, and it's wonderful. You see Paris with the old buses and the coffee shops and everything. It's, it's really, really nice, you know. But for me, it's a theme very strong. And last time, you know, when we were at, Le that, at the Lincoln Center presenting the film, I said, you know, my mother wanted to make a remake of this film. And I said, you know, now, today, I think we should do it with Lady Gaga. And so I said, is there somebody knowing Lady Gaga in this room? And suddenly somebody raised his hand. I know the manager of Lady Gaga. <laughs> and so it was so funny. So I thought, you know, it's nice. When you present film and you go around the world and you, you know, you share. And I think, you know, for me, it's very important to share films of Agnès Varda and my father, Jacques Demy. I always try to make connection with people and with the new audience. So, you know, if at Columbia, in the students, there's somebody who wants to make a remake, you know, you can call me and we'll try to find a solution. Have a nice screening and enjoy. And um, I hope you will like, like me, the song Sans Toi, which I think for me is totally incredible and so beautiful.